Hi everybody, it's Laura. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Today I have an unboxing of the May My Creative Scrapbook Limited Edition Kit. I was really, really happy when I opened up the kit and I saw that there were papers and a number of embellishments from the 49 and Market Collection Kaleidoscope. I think it's such a colorful collection and I was really hoping it would be part of one of the My Creative Scrapbook Limited Edition kits and I'm really excited to work with it this month. First, I'm going to show you all of the papers that we received and then I'll show you all of the other items that are in this month's kit. This first paper has a beautiful, vibrant pink background. There are some images and there's some text subtly included in that background. And then we also have some florals and some leaves on either side along with some other images. On the other side, we have what looks like a dictionary collage along with some splatters in different colors. Here's another beautiful page I think would be great for a background. We have some lighter pinks in the background of this one, again with the text, and then some images of flowers and leaves and hummingbirds, plus a little butterfly over here. On the other side, we have this really pretty green print. I love when they include these prints that look kind of like a solid because I find these come in really handy when scrapbooking. I love the way 49 and Market often has some wreaths printed on the backgrounds of their papers and I think this is a really cool take on that theme that they usually have. This one is a little bit thicker. I guess the lines are a little bit thicker and it looks a little bit more tropical. I love all the splatters in the background and I love the birds. <laughs> And then on the other side, we have more birds. We have a lighter blue background, again, with the text, and then lots of branches and flowers. Here we have another gorgeous paper that would be fantastic for a background. Again, we see the hummingbirds. We have some pink flowers, the text a blue background with a watercolor effect down here. And once again, you can see some other images in the background. On the other side, we have this pink and white polka dot print. Here's another stunning print. This time the florals and the branches and the birds are all concentrated on the bottom of the page and this background is green again with the text and then there's a area here that's white that would be a great place for a photo or some embellishments and then the other side this really bright pink pattern plus I noticed that the branding strips are all great to use on your pages this one has some sentiments Here's another beautiful page. Again, it would be a great background. I love these stems with the flowers, and this is such a beautiful color of blue in the background. Again, with the watercolor look and the type. And then this is another absolutely gorgeous page that could also be used as a background. I love this kind of cloudy look with lots of these beautiful, soft, but somehow still vibrant colors in the background. I love the stitching. This is another really beautiful one. It will be hard to decide which side to use. Here we have a combination of pink and blue in the background, again with some text back there and some splatters, and then some hummingbirds on the right-hand side, along with some branches and flowers and some butterflies and dragonflies. And then on the other side, we have this blue circle print. I love the way there are some darker and lighter areas on this. And then I happen to love Paisley, so I was so excited to see this beautiful Paisley paper. And I love the way, as usual with 49 and Market, they have some variation. This part of it is lighter, and then this is a little bit more vibrant on this side. And then on the other side is this 
other gorgeous print. This is another really beautiful one. I love the flourish and I love the combination of pinks and blues. So here, this page looks to me like a kaleidoscope and therefore the name of the collection. I love the way they combine all of those beautiful colors that are included throughout the collection on this page. There's the type in the background. And then on the other side, all of these beautiful butterflies, pink, blue, green, so beautiful, orange too. And then I love this branding strip. That's super pretty. And then finally, we have these three by four inch cut apart cards. So you could either use these on your pages or you could fussy cut some of the images out. I love the butterflies, the flowers, and some more flowers up here. We have the dragonfly, and there are a number of sentiments also that could be used on your pages. And then on the other side, we have this beautiful blue diagonal striped paper. And once again, I find that these types of papers come in really handy. They go along really well with all those gorgeous printed background papers. So those are all the papers we received in the kit. And now I will show you some of the other items. To coordinate with the beautiful papers from the 49 and Market Kaleidoscope collection, we received this pack of laser cut elements. There are 116 elements in all. There are four sheets. And although you can see all of the images right here, I always think it's better to show you the actual sheets. I find that these punch out very easily and I absolutely love the way 49 and Market always includes a little bonus cut apart sheet on the back of the packaging. I think it's a great way to give you something a little bit extra and it's also a way to not waste this beautiful paper that they use. Well, you can see there are quite a few images on here. We have some leaves. I think those always come in handy. I love the bird and the dragonfly. There are some tickets. I love these little clips. I think that these will come in really handy. I really like the idea of including those on layouts. Here's another ticket. We have some other cars that you can cut out and layer into your clusters. Here's a little sentiment over here and over here. And then we have this piece with the doily. So that's just a little extra. Now we're gonna get to the actual items that are included. You could see how easily they punch out. I think that's so important to be able to punch them out quickly because that's not something you wanna spend a lot of time doing. You wanna spend time on your scrapbooking layouts, of course. So here we have in 49 and market style, we have quite a number of tickets. We have stamps. We have lots of sentiments. Then there are some larger cards that have some hummingbirds on them, butterflies and florals and some branches as well. There are some hearts. There are buttons. There are also some round buttons. I love these little bows. I love when they include them. I've never seen this before where they have these striped bows. They also have these other bows and this is such a great size. I think that these are gonna come in really handy. They also have a number of butterflies in different styles. And then they have a number of other images. They have cameras, a little sentiment, a branch. So, so many beautiful things on just this one double sheet. And then here is the other double sheet. Oh, let me remove this. So we have this beautiful window and then we have a number of images. They could be used by themselves or they could be layered uh, with some other elements. We have these sentiments, more stamps. Here's a branch with some flowers on the top, a butterfly. Here's that doily. This would make a great layering piece. On this side, we have a beautiful frame. Lots of those bows, more butterflies, branches. I love these pieces. Very vintage looking. There are these little tags on safety pins, more tickets, more sentiments. And then there's this card down here that has these really cute hummingbirds on it. So 
lots and lots to use on your layouts and there's a lot more coming. So we also received this pack of ephemera bits. These are perfectly matched to the papers and there are 127 die cut shapes. And then on the back, they show you all of the items that we receive. And once again, I'm going to take everything out of the packaging so that you could see what it looks like in its actual true scale. As you could see, we get lots and lots of items in this ephemera pack. I always like to point out that the ephemera packs also have packaging that you could use on your layouts. So we have this beautiful pink background and then some images on the left hand side. I often use these. I do find that they come in pretty handy. These are all of the ephemera pieces that are included in that package. I always like to point out that the packaging of the ephemera kits can also be used. This is the piece that's inside the plastic bag and when you remove all the pieces you could see this gorgeous piece of paper this pink background and some florals and branches on the left hand side I will use these most of the time sometimes for die cutting sometimes for matting things sometimes I'll punch pieces out of it it's just nice to not have packaging that goes to waste I'm going to start over here. There's so much to show you. I'll try to go rather quickly and sum everything up. We have these labels in lots of different colors. We also have these labels. These are in quite a few different colors and there are quite a lot of them. I think these are great for recording memories about your projects. We also have some stitched hearts. In again lots of colors. We have the kaleidoscope in a small version and a larger version. There are also tabs. They have two of each of the colors that you see. I like to stamp the date on those but you could use them for lots of different things. And then there are titles. I love when there are titles and they coordinate really nicely with the rest of the layout. We have forever, sweetest, snapshots, happiest, moments, and dreamer. There are also quite a few sentiments. We have these sentiments that are on half circles. We also have all of these sentiments down here that are in book plates. There's even a blank one to write your own sentiment. And then these sentiments are on a little swoosh. And I think these are so easy to incorporate into pages. We also have these frames and once again they use every piece of paper. The frame has a coordinating stitched heart in the center and you could see that once again they have a huge variety of different colors that go with the collection. This particular one has another one of these sentiments included in the center. And then in 49 and market fashion, there are lots of tickets included in this ephemera pack. We have these tickets where you can write a little bit about your project or your photo if you are including photos on your project. And then there are also some beautifully colored tickets, all different styles and sizes. These are a little bit smaller. And then we have these that are a little bit larger. Here we have these gorgeous clocks. I love the way each one features a different color. There's a hummingbird of a different color and then different colored splatters in the background. Here we have some bingo cards. This one says enjoy. This one is happy and then finally dream. And then there are some tags these beautiful tags with the gorgeous washes in the background and then the hummingbirds and the branches and florals. And then each one has a sentiment on the bottom. We also have these pieces that could be layered into clusters. We have a whole bunch of different colors of that one. And then here we have the story, the details and favorites. Up here we have a number of cards or layering pieces. 
These are really tall ones. And sometimes I'll use these to create layers and other times I'll use them to math something or sometimes I will uh, punch some shapes out of them or I will die cut shapes out of them. They could be used for lots of different things. They have some larger ones and some smaller ones. And then over here we have another card. This is just so beautiful with that gorgeous multicolored but very subtle background and then we have the area with the birds and the florals and then these are great these can be folded and be used to tuck items into so there are a number of different colors these are the slightly larger ones and then they have slightly smaller ones so I think that's everything lots and lots of things and along with those pieces you can fussy cut out and the laser cut pieces there's a whole lot of options to use on those gorgeous papers also included in this month's kit is this pack of thickers and i have to say it's beautifully coordinated to the kaleidoscope collection as you can see there are lots of different sentiments and titles on the page. There are some other images as well. I absolutely love this stack of teacups and I love the way it has the pinks and the turquoises that the Kaleidoscope collection has. There are a number of buttons and I love these cameos. There are stamps, banners. I love this one up here, searching for the sunshine. And then on the other side, there are even more. <laughs> we have some border strips over here. I really like using border strips. More sentiments and titles. Here's a little frame, another stamp, lots more buttons. Here's a dog and cat cameo. I love that. And then down here we have a whole bunch of sentiments. And then here are some larger sentiments. I love this one that is printed on a ticket. In addition to the pack of thickers, we also receive this cut file. And I love the way my creative scrapbook is now sending the cut files already cut for you. So you can just back them and include them on your pages. In case you haven't watched one of my unboxing videos before, I just want to mention that I always include images of the layouts that I made using the current kit at the end of the video. That way you could see some examples of scrapbooking layouts that could be made with the kit. First though, I want to show you what's probably my favorite thing about the limited edition kit is that it comes with these gorgeous packs of dimensional flowers and the flowers that we received this month are a great complement to all of the papers and embellishments that we got. I'm going to start out with this pack of little birdie flowers. I absolutely love this set. I love the way there are some really small flowers and then there are some medium sized ones and then there are some larger flowers. I love these gold centers. I also love these jewels in the centers of all of these flowers and there are even some leaves. I'm looking forward to using that pack to make clusters. And then there's another set of pink flowers also from Little Birdie. And these are on a larger scale for the most part. We have this large flower in the center, another large one over here. I love the way all of these flowers are layered. They're not just single flowers. I think that the layering of the flowers is so crucial to how beautiful they are. They look so much more realistic. I love the centers of these flowers with the little gold, I guess they are dots or little tiny spheres. And then we also have some flowers that are on stems and some leaves and buds in the background. And then finally, we have these 49 and Market flowers. I love the beautiful turquoise color of these. And then just like the papers, there are some that are a little lighter colored and some that are a little darker colored. And then I like the way, once again, the flowers come in various sizes, including these small ones on either side, along with some leaves. 
So that's everything that we received in this month's kit. I hope you found this video useful and your kit should be on its way to you now if you haven't received it already. If you're not currently a subscriber to My Creative Scrapbook and you would like to know more about it, you can take a look on the My Creative Scrapbook website where you can check out the limited edition kit and you can also check out the three other kits that they have available. Don't forget to stay tuned till the very end where you'll see the images of the scrapbooking layouts that I've made if you're interested. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you again soon. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.